Okay. I know it's right. So I would like to encode the phrase L or the string L O L what with the matrix one two four five. So first things first. What do you need? Alphabet. So first you have to know the alphabet. So singing to yourself quietly. Don't give it away to your neighbors. Do you think if the government used a code just like this simple, like people would see this and then be like, there's no way it's what we think it is? Um, honestly, yeah, sometimes hiding things in plain sight is reasonable. <laughs> uh, my guess is that the government thinks that they're way more sophisticated than this, and so they probably wouldn't use it. And they might or might not be right, I have no idea. I was going to say, I mean, if you put out like some super I, top secret thing and they say it's like, oh, it's got to be fake they made it this easy. I do know that the NSA, NSA hires tons and tons of uh, mathematicians. <laughs> yeah, no one wants right, to the movie Good Will Hunt you, they try to hire like the best computer. Computer program is more of a government. Let's see. L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. Alphabet. Next. Set up your A. In your calculator. Okay. Go in the calculator. Calculator? How do you get into matrix land in the calculator again? Second. Second matrix. Second matrix. And then you go over to edit. Then you go over to edit. And then Oops. Select A and enter. And select whatever matrix you want to edit. And then it needs to be two by two. two, by two. And it's one, two, four, five. And then you do second quit. Then what? Second matrix. Go back into matrix land. Edit. Edit this one? Yep. Two by one. Oh, that's weird. I was doing this problem earlier. <laughs> and this matrix. Is uh, 12. Oh, yeah, 12. 12. 15. Where'd you get 12 and 15? Oh, yeah, you, you took yeah. it a bit. Because you took this string of letters, right? And you were like, okay, dude, that's 12, 15, 12, W is 23, U is 21, and T is 20. Right? And then you broke it into pairs. So you're like, all right, first we're going to do 12 and 15, then we'll do 12 and 23, then we'll do 21 and 20. Okay, and then once you've got it encoded, you go second quit. Uh, yeah, so you can choose where to encode space. You could either encode space as 0 or as 27. It's probably better to put it at the end. Then you go back into matrix land, get your matrix A, go back into matrix land, get your matrix B. What do you do with these? Wait a second. I got 42 and 75. Well, uh, you put, put them, you don't put them in the row. You just do them like That's your first pair. Yeah, that's your first pair, right? So this is the first part of your answer. The order of the matrix matters. I didn't know that. You guys all good with this? Yeah, and the order of the matrix matters. If you put in B and then A, you'll get something different. Yeah. I would, I would always just get this done. Wait, like you put it in like You leave it like that for your answer, 42, 123? Yep. So your answer is going to be some numbers. They're going to be 42, 123. What's your next step? 58, 163. 58, 163. 52, and 184. 52, and 184? I'm going to trust you. All right, okay. Okay, when you're decoding, how do you do that? You divide, right? Yeah, you kind of want to divide, but you don't have 
division as a tool. Wait, how is the 42 different than like the inverse of the division? Wait, why are the two L's different numbers? So that's actually a good question. Why are the two L's different numbers? Because they're one of the numbers? No. Because when you're encoding, it tangles the L and the O up. And L and O tangle up differently than L and W. It's if you had an L and an O again, right, if you encoded Lolo, you'd get 42, 123, 42, 123. Right, but it's because the, they're encoded in pairs that makes this, you know, actually interesting encoding. So you take 40. I got 61. I think that's because you put 21 and 20, and it should have been 22. Oh, did I put the wrong two numbers? Well, it's you, right? Wait, what, 22 or 23? It's, I don't know, actually, you're right. It's U and T. My U. Which is 21, 20. Second matrix, add it down to 2 by 1. And this should be 21 and 20. Oops, second quit. I got 61 and 184. That should be 61. Dang it. All right, how do you decode, though? Wait, I got that answer. Okay. With a 61? Nice. How do you decode? So the thing you need is to take your encoding matrix, take its inverse. Oh, yeah. So you do 1, 2, 4, 5, inverse times your encoded pairs. So 44, 131 is going to be my encoded pair. And I already have this thing in there, right? I need its inverse, and then I need 44, 133. So I'm going to go back into my matrix and edit my 2 by 1. And I'm going to make my 2 by 1 matrix... 44131 and then I'm going to quit and I'm going to do second matrix get my encoding matrix how do you get its inverse by giving the negative exponent yeah so use the inverse key and then you'll need to push over if you've got a um, 84 sometimes this one apparently doesn't. Oh, because I used the inverse key and not the exponent key. Never mind. Get that. And then I need to put my 44, 131. So I go back into matrix land and get my matrix B and drop it in there. And get 15, 14, which is no. So you get N, O. And if you decode the other two, you'll get B. So you're supposed to encode LL1, and the answer was nope. Cool? So encoding, you just do matrix multiplication. Make sure you get the thing you're encoding on the right-hand side. When you do decoding, you just calculate the inverse of your encoding matrix and then multiply by each of your things. Cool?